What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Astronomer, back with another video. Today, we're going to be looking at the brand new Wonder Woman vs. Hydra from Prime One Studios. This is revealed at the Next Level Showcase Phase 1 and Phase 2? I don't know what the second one was called. I can't remember. But it was shown at both of those, and it's now finally up for PO. So let's look at these pictures, and let's see if it's a hit or miss. Let's do it. If you've been following me covering these Prime 1 events, you know that I am a huge fan of this Wonder Woman versus Hydra. From the very first beginning, I absolutely loved it. And what made this statue for me were the, the dragons, the Hydra. The texture on the dragons are otherworldly. I think that they've definitely taken this thing to the next level. I don't think I've seen a texture this good on a statue. Um, these dragons really steal the show for me. I'm just being honest. The dragons is what do it for me. They did, I mean, this is obviously, this is the prototype, but if the uh, the shipped product look anything like this, this is gonna be, this is this is gonna be, uh, in my opinion, this is gonna be one uh, for, for the running for 2022. Um, this is this is a piece here that's, that's just super phenomenal. We have it standing at about 32 inches tall and uh you have obviously you have diana you have princess diana she's fighting this three-headed hydra as you can see down at the bottom you have cuts uh as you can see she's already been hacking away at this dragon um there's cuts and slices within the dragon skin and also too if you look down there this is a three-headed hydra but it looks like one of the heads have already been cut off which is freaking cool so you can see a little bit of the inside of the uh, dragon's head down there and i think that's super dope um, again, like I said, the texture, the coloring, the shading, everything is done super phenomenal in this piece. I love how there appears to be like some type of acid coming out of the dragon's mouth. You see that purple um, in its mouth. I think that's super dope. Um, moving up to, to Wonder Woman herself, I love this costume. It's, it's futuristic, it's modern. I think they did a phenomenal job with this, the coloring, the shading. Again, they just, from top to bottom, this piece is super crazy. Um, moving up to her actual body, again, sculpted perfectly everything is on point um I, I really love how her hair is just kind of flowing it's just really really just all over the place and i think that kind of gives a little um character i don't know there was a there was a there was a decision there to do that and i do think that it was a good decision to kind of have her hair flowing it, it gives movement to her as she's obviously in a action pose to kind of strike again so i think that that was really really dope uh again she, she has uh two uh, sword option or two weapon options for the exclusive it's just like a uh, it's like an axe the regular one is like a regular sword I mean I guess I mean you can't really go wrong with this one I guess it just really depends on which one you really want uh, but for me I mean I would probably just go with the axe it just looks a little bit cooler it's a little bit different it's not exactly um, you know it's not just the average stuff that you, you you know you're used to seeing, right? I mean, I would think if she's fighting a three-headed Hydra, she would need a, a different weapon than what she usually uses. And speaking of those weapons, as you can see here on the actual weapon, there is blood stains, and I think that I don't know. I just really love blood stains. I love when you have weapons and they have blood stains on them. I think that's just super cool. Um, I love games like God of War and stuff like that, so this works for me, man. Now, the only bad thing about this piece is going to be the price. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to run you about $1,500. And after shipping, um, it's going to be up there. It's, you're probably going to be seeing closer to $2,000. Now, um, again, if you're ordering from Sideshow, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's okay because, I mean, it's a little bit better because obviously you get to stretch out the payments. Um, the payments are... Uh, good amount you know is a little bit uh, more than the average payment of a statue but again uh stretching out from october it starts in october 2021 till may 2022 uh that's a good little stretch there that um that you can uh that you can use there so i say go ahead and grab it if, if you're gonna grab it grab it now so that you can have the minimal amount of uh payments i mean the maximum amount of payments for the minimum amount of uh, money so so out of the three Jason Fabok uh, options for the, the Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman, this is my favorite. So again, totally a hit. Let me know what you guys think about this piece. And until next time, y'all be good, y'all be safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.